Hi, I'm Bill, part of the Nerd Stocking crew. The smart one. And I'm here today to talk to you about the new teaser trailer that was released for the new adaptation of Stephen King's It. You might be like me and read It back in 1986. In fact, hey, here's my hardback edition from back then. Look at this monster. You could commit a homicide with this thing. And if you look at the cover, you can see that they represent the iconic scene of the little paper boat floating down the rain swollen gutters, ready to end up in the sewer where Pennywise lurks. And if you look very carefully here, you'll see a reptilian hand gripping the grill. You kind of get the idea that the publishers themselves didn't have an idea of what Pennywise or it was. Maybe they were just described the opening scenes of the book and said, it lurks inside the sewers. And that's what they drew. At any rate, it's similar to what they're doing to the new Pennywise. That's one of the many incarnations of it that appears around Derry. He looks way too evil and scary from the get-go. While Stephen King himself apparently has seen a cut of the movie and says he loves it, what they're doing seems to be similar to what they did to Jack Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of King's The Shining. There, Jack Nicholson is playing Torrance, and he looks deranged as soon as you see him. With the new Pennywise, he looks evil and dangerous in every sense as soon as you see him. They don't show the clown's face much in the trailer, but we do get a quick look at him when young Georgie Denborough looks into the sewer at him. And again, Pennywise is staring back at him with a leering grin. If they follow through with that scene, Georgie eventually reaches in to get the boat from the clown. My question is, would anybody, even a dumb kid, reach in there with such a nasty-looking dude leering back at him? Pennywise is supposed to appear harmless to the people he stalks, what with his red nose and frizzy hair and big painted smile. The only creepiness is that which is inherent in all clowns. But then suddenly you hear the music of the calliope, smell popped corn and candy floss, and hear the shouts of kids as they go down the roller coaster, which turns into their own shrieks as Pennywise attacks. So it was played by the great Tim Curry in the 1990 TV adaptation. Here, Bill Skarsgård just looks like a leering murderer, with none of the feigned innocence used to lure in his victims, even against their own better judgment. We postulated on Nerd Stalking that these days people just don't have the patience for even a short slow burn when it comes to characterizations. Too bad. Instead of Pennywise the Dancing Clown, we get Pennywise the Leering Maniac. But hey, at least it looks like Stephen King learned something from Stranger Things. If you think the new Pennywise looks just fine in this new It adaptation, why not drop us a line? Email and social media links are down there in the description. And please subscribe to this channel for more nerd stalking video content. See you later, Georgie! Nerd stalking! Nerd stalking! Nerd stalking!